the trials are just um, starting. So there's early phase trials, which are phase one trials, which are the first in man. And these are coming to the UK. In fact, the first one has just started in the UK. And here at Nottingham, we anticipate that we're going to be involved in one of the second ones starting in the first quarter of 2024. And these are um, looking at these people with rare genotypes to see if we can get personalised therapy called mRNA therapy. So that's the blueprint um, for making the protein delivered to the cells in the lung epithelium to improve the way the body processes salt. Our aspirations really are that the that, these, um, that it's going to be easy to deliver this medication. And it's been a lot of work being done to try and deliver these medications uh, because the respiratory epithelial tissue is really hard to get into. So you need to use viral vectors to get them into the right cells. And there's lots of mucus on the surface of the airway, so it's difficult to get them here. So what we're hoping really is that people can tolerate their medication, first of all, and that we can show that actually that it improves the symptoms, uh, both in terms of the quality of life um, the, but the lung function and also um, it helps improve the sweat chloride levels, which is a marker of how the um, body's responding to the new treatments. So we envisage when people start these uh, new therapies that they'll have produced less phlegm and have less cough and their lung health will be better. So they won't need to have as many antibiotics. And in future, therefore, this might mean they can drop some of the current treatments they are taking. So we've talked previously about the fact that people need to do about two hours of treatments with um, every day just to maintain their health. And hopefully by taking some of these therapies, they can reduce that treatment burden because it's really hard to take all these treatments regularly and we call adherence to this treatment um, long term. Um, and so that's quite a quite an undertaking for, for people with CF. Since we've had the modulator therapies um, brought out, that it's really improved and in, in a positive impact on people's lives. So more people are working. Uh, I don't know the figures, but significantly more people are now working um, and actually more people are um, in full time education. And we have people who are doctors and nurses and lawyers who are now uh, with cystic fibrosis and are able to hold down the jobs and do that because they're not needing to take the time off work. Um, but more than that as well, we're having lots more um, ladies becoming pregnant and being mums. And it's been absolutely fantastic that they've been able to uh, um, they live their lives and fulfill, and fulfill their lives and potentially dreams and actually um, start a family, um, which wouldn't have been impossible uh, 30 years ago. And she's been taking these treatments for approximately three years now, and they really have impacted significantly on her health. So she doesn't need to come into hospital for intravenous antibiotics through a drip for two weeks now. Um, she's been able to come off her, some of her nebulized treatments. And these are the treatments that take an awful lot of time. So they take about two, two hours a day and she's been able to come off those and maintain her lung health. Um, and she's been able to go when she's doing more sport and um, she's been able to live her life and fulfill it unlimited, uh, certainly less limited by her CF. I think it's a really exciting time. Um, there's been huge improvements in how genomics have actually led to personalised care and improvement in, in, in lung health. But there's also been challenges as well and there's future challenges to come um, that we still don't even know what they are yet. So um, as people are living longer, we're, we're actually, the disease themselves is, are changing and we're having to adapt our research to understand the condition ourselves and also the impact of these. So um, it's, it's revolutionised areas, but there's still work to be done before we can, uh, we can say the job is done.